What's up, sports bettors? We have the Dallas Mavericks losing to the Golden State Warriors yesterday by nine points, despite Luka putting up 40, embarrassing the state of Texas. The Mavericks are down 3-0. It looks like this series is over. So what we are zoned in on is the Celtics Heat game tomorrow. Can the Celtics tie up the series in game four? So just like in game three, the Celtics are really big favorites. They're minus 280 on Caesars, minus 275 on DraftKings. In the best odds, you can get on the Celtics currently is minus 267 on Pinnacle Sportsbook. So this is the sharpest sportsbook in the world, lowest vig, lowest juice. And you can see they're actually giving you the best price on both the Miami Heat and the Boston Celtics. So the Celtics are pretty big favorites, so betting markets are expecting that it should be 2-2 in the series heading back to Miami, but what we are focused on is the best player prop bets for today. So the first player prop I really like is Jimmy Butler, under 25 and a half points. This is minus 110 odds on DraftKings in Pinnacle Sportsbook, the sharpest sportsbook in the world. They price this at minus 139. Right, so their market is plus 105 on the over, minus 139 on the under, so only 34 cents in market width, and we are getting 29 cents of improvement, minus 110 to minus 139 on DraftKings. So this is a really sharp bet, a really great bet um, for today. And if we go to Jimmy Butler, you can see, you know, in his last 10, 10 games, he's averaged 22 points roughly versus Boston this season. He's averaged 22 points on the road, 20.8 points, and his current point total is set at 25 and a half. So it seems like the under is a good decision here. The sports betting math supports it, right? Pinnacle is all the way down at minus 139. So we're getting a ton of improvement on DraftKings. And I'm going to go ahead and lock in this bet for today. So we'll go to player props and then we'll go to player points. We have Jimmy Butler under 25 and a half points. Recheck location. Okay. And then we will lock this bet in. So 34 cents in market with sharpest sportsbook in the world prices this at minus 139. So this bet is positive EV, mathematically profitable with a profit margin of 3.83%. So the zero vig line, again, once you remove the juice, is minus 119.23. So our bet has a 54.38% win probability quantified mathematically. So DraftKings finishing checking my location. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll lock this bet in. So placed right there, Jimmy Butler under 25 and a half total points right here. So Jimmy Butler under 25 and a half points. That's the bet we're rolling with. This bet has a profit margin of 3.83%. So the profit margin of this bet is 3.83%. We staked $250. So our bet has a profit margin in dollars of 958. So our bet is worth a Chipotle burrito. Um, 383, right? That is our percentage profit margin. 250 stake means 958 in total profit on this bet. So pretty happy with it. I'm gonna add it to my bet tracker. So the odds jam bet tracker is pretty cool because not only will it, um, you know, show you your net profit and loss as a sports better, but it will also show you where you beat the closing line. So the next bet I really like is Jalen Brown over 24 and a half total points. So this is minus 104 odds on FanDuel. Every other sports book has this like minus 125, minus 130. So clearly there's a lot of value on FanDuel. So I actually already bet this earlier at minus 108 odds. Now it's back down to minus 104, but FanDuel doesn't let me re-bet this because I already bet it. So what you can do is you can go to the alternates to score 25 plus, and we could re-bet it again from here for 212.10. So I'll bet this, and then I'll add it to my bet tracker once again, um, but I just have to change the price to minus 106 because it's a little weird on FanDuel, but to score 25 points is exactly the same as over 24 and a half points, but for some reason, the odds are slightly different, which doesn't make a ton of sense, but anyways, we bet both of them. So my two bets on FanDuel for tomorrow are Jalen Brown 25 plus and over 24 and a half points, which are the exact same bet. And then we have Jimmy Butler under 25 and a half points. So Jalen over 24 and a half, Jimmy Butler under 25 and a half, 
two sharp bets. I added both to my odds jam bet tracker, which you can see right here. And again, I like adding bets to my bet tracker. The odds jam bet tracker is 100% free because it shows me my profit and loss as a sports better, my ROI, as well as how often I'm beating the closing line. So two player props for today, two bets on FanDuel. Um, pretty happy with them. And let's make some freaking money betting on the Heat Celtics game today.